Guys, today I have to shed light on a very grave topic. Being part of it myself, I can actually say that an Android versus iOS debate looks like this. Yep, what you saw is a true representation of it. Trust me guys. Having used an iPhone and an Android both, I can say that both have great, great qualities. But the one thing that I have to accept is that Android does have an advantage when it comes to the customization of apps. Additionally, the available third-party apps helps make this an even sweeter deal. So, today I'm going to show you some of my top picks for customization apps on Android. Tasker. Tasker is that app to automate tasks to the absolute extreme. You can also use it to create new actions and a ton of other stuff as well. For example, you can create triggers for actions via launcher shortcuts, widgets, long pressing volume buttons and more. You can even expand this app's functionality by some other apps that are made for it. IFTTT IYKYK No, 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 guys, I'm not stammering. What I mean is, IFTTT is short for if this, then that. And it's all about automation. There are over 630 apps out there that work with IFTTT and chances are you're using quite a few of them. Some of those apps are Twitter, Google Drive, Telegram, Twitch, Energy Rig. Guys, do you want to put a battery indicator bar around the hole punch of the camera? Well, let me tell you, this app helps you do just that. Not only will you add some pizzazz to the hole punch, but it'll also be useful to you as you'll be able to see your battery status at all times. One thing to note though is that this app is not compatible with every smartphone. There is a list of smartphones included in the app listing on the Play Store, though some additional ones may be supported. You can always download it and try it out yourself. Volume Styles Guys, do you also want to customize your volume style to the way you want it on your Android phone? Well now, you can, thanks to Volume Styles. You can edit the volume panel any way you want through volume styles. Various different options are available. It's a really useful app that can make you more productive by adding a more useful volume panel to your phone. One that you want. Tap Tap Lock Google Pixel users, you may be annoyed that your phone doesn't offer the double tap to lock feature. Well now, we have a fix. All you need to do is put a see-through widget on your home screen where you'd usually double tap to lock the phone. Enable the accessibility option for the app and you're good to go. That's basically everything that this app, Tap Tap Lock, does. And that was the video guys. Customization never looked so cool. Which one of these apps is your favorite? And hey, recommend some cool apps for us as well to check out. Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such content.